Now we'll move on to discuss the articulations or joints. This is where bones come together and allow movement in the body. We'll begin with the classification of joints. The joints or articulations of the body are the movement points for bones. They allow for such movements such as bending an arm or leg. This image shows the hip joint between the pelvis bones and the femur. The joints of the body can be categorized into three main groups based on their function. Number one, synarthrosis joints. Number two, amphiarthrosis. And number three, diarthrosis joints. This categorization is dependent on the amount of movement permitted at the particular joint. An example of the synarthrosis joint is the suture joints which are found between some bones of the skull. This type of joint can convert from a fibrous suture to a solid mass of bone or bony fusion. The edges of the bone in a synarthrosis joint allow forces to move easily from one bone to another with minimal movement. The teeth are bound to the bone socket through a gomphosis, which is a fibrous synarthrosis. Amphiarthrosis joints allow more movement than a synarthrosis joint. An example is the symphysis between the two pubic bones. An amphiarthrosis joint permits a little movement and an example include the symphysis as well as the fibrous connections between the tibia and fibula. A ligament that connects two bones and limits their movement is known as a syndesmosis. The articulations between adjacent vertebrae in the spinal column, the intervertebral disc, is another example of an amphiarthrosis joint. The most movable joints in the body are diarthrosis joints. An example is the knee joint. This permits movement in a wide range of motion. Other examples include the elbow, ankle, and wrist. Diarthrosis joints are synovial joints in which a complex joint is contained with synovial fluid. Depending on the number of directions of movement permitted at the joint, they're either monaxial, biaxial, or triaxial. Within these types of joints are articular cartilage and synovial fluid, which absorbs shock and lubricates the joint. Also, the synovial fluid provides nutrients for chondrocyte cells inside the joint capsule. There are also cartilages and fat pads in synovial joints along with ligaments and tendons.